Yo, what's going on, Kofi Gang? It's your boy, Company. Um, sorry, I'm gonna have to whisper right now or talk a lot quieter because it's daytime and don't want my parents hearing me because that'd be awkward. But um, anyways, uh, because I want to make more content more regularly, um, I decided I'm gonna talk about, uh, try talking about different things, um, stuff that I'm working on and right now, uh, I'm going to talk about a project that I've been working on for maybe like the past um, week or so. And um, basically, what, I, what I've been doing is I've been trying to write a song about needs. Or more specifically, the experience of being neat. And um, yeah, overall, it's been pretty interesting. It's been a lot harder than I thought. So I just wanted to briefly share the process, what I've done so far and um yeah my thoughts on songwriting so um yeah basically what i first start out doing is i start trying to make the like the beat which is gonna be the foundation of the song basically and um i think i made like two or three different um two or three different iterations or like um I guess versions or different like beat beats basically and uh eventually on this third one with which i made today actually uh, i think i finally came up with a a i guess a sort of instrumental that i feel capt best captures the i don't know the emotions and the experience of being neat basically and i think um in terms of like the genre of music what I chose, uh, I decided to go with like lo-fi hip hop. And um, while I guess you guys can already see like the correlation there because, um, well, the reason I chose lo-fi specifically is because um, I feel like lo-fi is a pretty appropriate genre for needs because, um, well, just the way it sounds, I feel is sort of like almost like a metaphor for like the need existence like for example like how muffled uh, it sounds it's almost like it's like it's almost like there's a haze over the music because of like how like like muffled and like dark everything sounds and at the same time that kind of like represents the sort of like brain fog and the and the haze that needs walk through in their lives that they experience and um you know just uh the lack of you know high frequency content in most uh lo-fi hip-hop um you know it's kind of like a metaphor for sort of like the dimly lit grungy environments that needs typically inhabit like basically their own rooms and how how like tight and claustrophobic the mix is uh, is sort of like a metaphor for how confined existence is for the need like just like the, the compression and everything like the lack of you know dynamic range and how you know grungy and gritty everything is kind of like represents how almost like dirty and grimy and like almost like um i don't know like i don't know it's hard to explain but it's kind of like this weird like feeling and I guess like the degradation of the audio and lo-fi hip-hop because you know like they deliberately like make audio sound like shit in a uh, lo-fi hip-hop and I think that kind of like represents like all the rot and the degradation of the spirit and the soul that the need typically experiences uh, probably you know I'm stretching things right now but I'm trying to uh come up with some artsy bullshit you know because i'm an artist and everything <laughs> but um i know i also how you know like uh a lot of the the chords and the uh the chord progressions are often like very like almost like bittersweet with like the like jazz like minor chord harmonies which um um uh yeah you know are kind of like sad but happy sounding at the same time and that kind of like captures how um how bittersweet being in need is because at this at, at one on one hand um you are uh you know extremely comfy and you know you're not succumbing to societal expectations of whatever 
it is to be you know part of like the labor force and everything but at the same time you have to suffer this sort of existential hollowness and you know the whole experience of like rotting away and you know wasting away losing your ability to pretty much function as a normal human being and i think that's captured in the harmonies of like lo-fi beats and also just how it has a very like old sound which is almost like nostalgic in a way and that kind of is a uh, relatable because you know a lot of needs are often stuck in the past of when they grew up and are you know often very nostalgic as far as you know maybe a lot of them had happy childhoods or you know peaked when they were a lot, a lot younger so that's the overall mindset of why i chose lo-fi beat and um what i plan to do is um write lyrics for it and sing over it so i'll just play the beat quickly before um i talk about the lyrics and everything and songwriting so oh yeah by the way this is my little studio setup um if you want me to talk about what exactly i have what gear i use it's not much really it's but um i could definitely talk about that in another video if people are actually interested in this kind of stuff but anyways i'll just play the beat so uh, uh yeah here it goes i'll just And these are the lyrics, by the way, that I've been working on, but yeah. So basically uh, this instrumental is gonna like form the backbone of the song basically and what I'm gonna do is like write lyrics, sing them and then kind of like arrange everything and you know maybe decorate it a little bit by adding other stuff to complement the vocals. That's the plan at least. Um, and yeah as far as songwriting goes I've definitely gained a lot of respect for songwriters because it's actually really difficult because what you're doing when you're writing lyrics is you're trying to basically you know come up with all these complex ideas and experiences and then find ways to like compress it like kind of like how you compress an image or like an audio file into like a very small amount of data so like you're taking something that should be said in maybe three or four thousand words at least and compressing it into these little seven to eight word like lines basically and giving yourself like a three to four minute time limit so it's actually quite difficult to write something that captures the essence of the message you want to send or the story you're trying to tell and have it be relatable to other people and also be able to fit to a melody that matches the beat and um all these other factors so it's definitely been you know that's why it's been taking me so long just to write to come up with one song it's because you have to get the beat right first because if the beat is bad then you can't really like do a proper song over it and um then yeah it ends up so yeah it takes a while and then after that you have to find ways to like come up with the lyrics and that's the hard part like because it took me a while to sort of you know skim through the, the myriad of different topics about being neat that were in my mind because there's literally so many things you could talk about and you have to sort of narrow that down and try to find a select few topics that sort of fit together that can sort of relate to the beat so anyways um, that's my whole thought process at least as far as writing this song and um yeah
I'd say the reason I'm doing this is because, um, well, you know, I've always wanted to, um, I've always had dreams of being a musician and, you know, I wish I could be an artist. Unfortunately, I'm not really what you would call a good singer. So I have to rely on things like auto-tune probably and effects and stuff. But you know what they say about song lyrics is that, um, you know, it's better if you, um, you know, write about things you've experienced yourself. And that's the only way you can write good lyrics if they're sort of like authentic and genuine, genuine. And um, well, unfortunately, I don't really have much life experience, but um, it's probably really loud. Um, but um, you know, I the only thing that I really can sing about or write lyrics about even is being a neat. So that's um, um, yeah what I'm going for. And you know, obviously, this is my first time uh, attempting to write a song, which is why it's taking so long. But also, you know don't expect anything really good like the lyrics are probably going to be corny as hell and trash but you know i think part of the reason why i'm doing this is because i'm trying to get over this um, issue that i have with you know perfectionism as an artist i know that a lot of people who are creative or try and do creative things like you know code games or draw stuff you know make animations like they have this fear of, you know, they, I feel like a lot of them, or at least for me, like the reason I never wanted to share my music with people is because I've always had this um, fear that I wasn't at my peak yet and that I had so much room to improve and I only wanted to show the world the best side of myself, you know, the part when I've mastered making music. But the thing is that I'll probably never achieve that given that, I'm a lazy, a lazy piece of crap. And um, also, yeah, and also is something like mastery or perfection even achievable in the arts? And, you know, some people, some people have talked to me about that. And, um, you know, it's possible, entirely possible that, you know, maybe that's not the case. Maybe you'll always be chasing perfection when in, in reality, you will never reach it. And that, you know, maybe, the stuff that you're able to make right now is actually good, but you're judging yourself against entirely different standards. And besides, you know, just forcing yourself to, to you know, expose, forcing yourself to expose your art, um, it's kind of a way of, uh, you know, getting over that fear of, you know, not making anything because you're trying to live up to an expectation that you'll probably never meet. So that's part of the reason that's another reason why I'm doing it and um well that's really why I'm doing this in the first place and also the fact that I would I don't really have much to contribute to the world so if I'm able to you know at least entertain people with how bad this song is then um you know at least I'll have left my mark on this world you know not that that's the be all and end all of existence but I don't know I feel like it's something that I'm sort of unconsciously driven to do. It's just another biological, um, you know, directive or whatever. Something that I'm just driven to do that I want to do for whatever arbitrary reason is causing me to want to do this. But yeah, that's another reason why I'm doing this. But um, like I said, uh, don't expect much and uh, yeah, um, as far as what the song is going to be about, I don't want to spoil it for you guys because, well, there's really not much going on. And you probably know exactly what the song is like if I just tell you what it's about, but I'll just speak in as vague term, as, as vague of terms as possible. Um, it's basically about, you know, I feel like one of the fundamental questions that a lot of needs are probably asking themselves at this moment. It's probably like a universal question that most people ask. It's like the question that is probably, you know, the most asked question in the world, in a human existence at least. So, and also 
how that relates to being neat, I guess. So um, I'm not even sure if that makes any sense. I'm not even sure if what I said in this video makes any sense because this probably all just sounds like some artsy, artsy fartsy BS, but um, you know, I don't know. It's kind of hard to think of things to talk about. So this is just showing, you know, the different side of me because I do talk about making music a lot, but I feel like I never actually show it, which might call into question that if I'm actually making music or not. But yeah, I do make music and um, I guess this is it. And hopefully, you know, I'll be able to upload something pretty soon. Anyways, this is a uh, company signing out. Uh, oh yeah, if you like this, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button below. Peace.